Welcome to Electra Online. Not only do we have what we call a point normal form of the equation, we also have the general form of the equation of a plane in three dimensions. So here we're going to start out with a point normal form for which you need a single point on the plane and a normal vector to the plane. And then we're going to transform that to the general form. The way that's done is we're first going to multiply everything out. So end up with AX minus AX sub naught plus BY minus BY sub naught plus CZ minus CZ sub naught. And of course that's equal to zero because when we multiply via the dot product, the vector which is parallel to the plane and the vector which is normal to the plane, the angle is 90 degrees, so the dot product must equal zero. Now we're going to combine terms. So here we have AX plus BY plus CZ, and then we have minus AX sub naught minus BY sub naught minus CZ sub naught, and we're going to set that equal to zero. Now here, we're going to take this and set that equal to D. So we're going to create another variable called D and we're going to replace all that by D. So now we're going to write this as AX plus BY plus CZ. And now we're going to write plus D is equal to zero. And that is the general form of an equation in three dimensions. So we take these three terms AX sub naught, BY sub naught, CZ sub naught. Notice we take the negative of those and we set that equal to D. In other words, D is equal to, and that's a terrible looking D, uh, minus AX sub naught, minus BY sub naught, and minus CZ sub naught. Let me rewrite that D here. So there, that's a little better. And so that we simply replace those three terms by D and call that the new form of the equation or the general form of the equation. And that's a typical form used. Now notice that A, B, and C are still the magnitude of the coordinates or not the coordinates of the components of the perpendicular vector. So you can see that this is still related to the vector that's perpendicular. And then we combine those three terms into a single variable called D or coefficient called D, and that makes up the new equation. So let's go ahead and take what we have over here. Notice when we take that and plug that into the point form of the equation, we take A, which is 2, times X minus X sub naught, which in this case is 3, and now we have minus 5 for B, times Y minus Y sub naught, and Y sub naught is a negative 1, so it becomes plus 1, and then we have plus 6 times z minus z sub naught, which is 2, and we set that equal to 0. So now let's transform that into our general form. So in this case, we get 2x minus 6 minus 5y minus 5 plus 6z minus 12 is equal to 0. Now we're going to separate the terms. So we have 2x minus 5y plus 6z, that's these three terms right here. Then we have minus 6, minus 5, and minus 12 equals 0. And so then we have 2x minus 5y plus 6z. And I have minus 6, that's minus 18, that's minus 23 is equal to 0. So in this case, we realize that d is equal to minus 23. And there we go. That's the same equation that we found previously, which is right here which is in the point normal form and wrote it in the general form of the uh, plane, the equation of the plane in three dimensions. And that is how it's done. All right, let me see if that's correct. Ooh, minus six, minus five, minus 12, minus 17, minus 17, yep.